about the news that we were getting to fill in over the Thanksgiving holidays for Jagger, my first thought was, how can we bastardize the buzz again? <laughs> but let's bastardize it in a different way. Let's not go back to the the well and uh, and draw a, a second bucket. Let's let's move on. Mm-hmm. Let's let's find an untapped uh, uh, well, if you will. So. I got to thinking, and I thought, well, you know, the, the show, The Wild Ass Circus, has so many eccentrics associated with it, and it would be fun to maybe involve some of them in yeah. the process. No reason we need to go outside of The Wild Ass Circus family down to the bus stop when we've got a bunch of uh, weirdos that just hang around us uh, all the time. And, of course, when I think uh, Wild Ass Circus eccentrics, even though this is a show that travels the nation regularly, there is no one more eccentric and more bizarre than someone who is right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I'm speaking, of course, of our good friend Hansel von Quinzer. Every day of his life, he is clad head-to-toe in Jeffersonian regalia from the tri-cornered hat and the powdered wig down to the breeches and the patent leather buckle shoes. Uh, Today, he is clad in a very fetching uh, burgundy uh, velvet top coat with uh, black lace underneath, the black tri-cornered hat, the white powdered wig, something you might see still in Britain's House of Commons, the uh, black patent leather buckled shoes, and green velvet breeches, really dressed for the holiday season. Very Christmassy. Festive, yes. Uh, Hansel von Quinzer is appearing today. Hansel, good to see you again. It's been a while, and uh, in fact, this is the first time we've ever been able to have you up here in studio since we've been on Free FM Live 105.3. How have you been? I've been excellent. How have you been? Terrific. Uh, I, I assume you've been retro as ever. Always retro. Yes. Always to the minute. Yeah, in fact, I'm surprised. Uh, oftentimes, Hansel is uh, uh, not quite ready to get on board with LASIK eye surgery because the last couple of times I've seen you, you've been wearing a monocle. Uh, yes, the monocle is quite popular with the ladies. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it is, uh, as long as they're uh, wearing uh, Martha Washington-style ball gowns, it's probably popular with them. Um, if you want to see uh, some of what I'm talking about here uh, visually, uh, we'll, we'll have all this up on uh, BigDickHunter.net. We're rolling video and shooting some pictures. But uh, Hansel's website is uh, royaltowncrier.com royaltowncrier.com and that's c-r-i-e-r crier right right. royaltowncrier.com and uh, that is actually the exact reason that we have hansel in studio for what we're going to call ye old buzz (laughs) everything new is old again on the buzz today because the wild ass circus's take on jagger's buzz is ye old buzz now the website royaltowncrier.com uh will will explain hansel's pursuit of becoming dallas's official town crier we need one we hadn't had one for like a long time and uh i don't even know how long but, I, in fact, I don't know that in my lifetime I have ever seen an active town crier because this was something that uh, hundreds of years ago they would have back before, uh, certainly before the Internet and really before newspapers were, were widely published because a lot of people, uh, there, there was a, a high illiteracy rate. Some would say, once again, everything old might be new again <laughs> yep. and there might really be a calling for, for a town crier. And... Um, Hansel at RoyalTownCrier.com. Hansel, you are in the process of trying to create a groundswell of a movement for the city of Dallas to adopt you as their town crier. Presumably, you would take a position out in front of Dallas City Hall on a daily basis, and I would assume uh, read from your scroll as you have in hand today the the day's news. Is that the way that would go? Uh, yes, the day's news or other ribbon cuttings, uh, civic events, and that sort. Oh, so you would also function in the dual uh, role of maybe like a good will ambassador uh, yes that's also the duty of the town cry this would be tremendous for convention business i do you know if, if it's like us and uh, i don't know phoenix competing yeah. for some convention business i think uh the, the mary Kay ladies would be totally swayed <laughs> by uh hansel von quinzer yes. helping to keep their business here in uh, our fair city well, uh, at RoyalTownCrier.com, uh, you log on there, and I'm sure you can find out how to become a part of Hansel's movement to become Dallas's Town Crier. And if you don't know what a Town Crier does, I kind of gave you a brief description there, but I'm not doing it justice. I'm no seasoned, trained Town Crier. No. But Hansel is. So what we're going to have him do 
is read today's headlines, current headlines, headlines from uh, the world of politics, from the world of entertainment, from the world of sport. Uh, but he's going to do it throwback style, ye old buzz style, with his scroll and his bell and his um, his uh, heavy British accent. All right. Uh, with that, I guess what we will do is we're going to have uh, Hansel. He's already got his scroll in hand, and I guess he'll take his uh, large bell in the other hand, and he will read the day's headlines from his scroll. So uh, uh, please help me in welcoming Hansel von Quinzer with the Wild Ass Circuses, Ye Old Buzz. Bravo, bravo. My lords, my ladies, in the year 2006 of November 24th, the year of our law, this is today's news. Simpson says blood money from his book used for debt. O.J. Simpson told the Associated Press that he deserved criticism for his part in the If I Did It book and interview deal. It's all about blood money, and unfortunately, I had to join the jackals. Simpson said, referring to the authors of books about him, it helped me get out of debt and secure my homestead. On the addendum, bombs kill more than 200 in Baghdad, Sada City. The death from, from a brutal string of car bomb attacks in Baghdad, Sada City, has risen more than 200 dead and more than 250 wounded. Thursday's bloodshed represented the single deadliest coordinated attack in Iraq since the start of the war in March 2003. They want to tell me this was a bad bit uh, idea. This is great. Are you He's loving so this good already? at it. God, I could I could listen to the news like this. Now I see why yes. Dallas needs a town crier. Next on the addendum, Kramer apologizes. Hires crisis expert. Michael Richards hired a public relations expert with deep contracts in the black community. New York publicist Howard Rubenstein took on Richards as a client Wednesday. He then arranged for Richards to call the Reverend Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. And next on the addendum, Tony Katine's co cocaine rap. Is that how do you, how do you pronounce that? Katine? Yeah, yeah, Excellent. yeah, especially with the accent. That's uh, cool. Actress Tony Katine rung up Tuesday on a felony drug charge. Police found 15 grams of cocaine in her apartment showed up at Katayan San Juan a Capistrano <laughs> apartment to perform a welfare check on her and two of her daughters. Hansel, you're you're the historian on town criers. Would a would a town crier ever moonlight maybe with a particular retail establishment to uh, you know, direct some attention? Uh, well, I don't know about moonlight, but uh, uh, normally early in the morning to open a store, yes, they would. Oh, yeah. well, see, that's uh, probably way back when town criers were, were known to do that. Pick up a little extra cash because just being a city employee probably doesn't pay that well. You know, you could probably do better with uh, side jobs uh, with the private sector. <laughs> so <laughs> today's special's on. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So what do you say? <laughs> so what do you say we send Hansel out? Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll have him, uh, I don't know, we'll drop him off in front of a retail store, and we'll have him ring his bell and read some specials from the uh, from his scroll. Good idea? Yes. We have time to do it, right? I mean, yes. we could have him somewhere in probably like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Hansel, are you up for that? I, I know you have your uh, horse-drawn carriage parked outside. <laughs> here, here. Oh yay, my lords, my ladies, the following to be read is of grave concern. Condoms to go and Sarah's Secret is currently having sales on select lingerie, 20 to 40% off, and select Kama Sutra, 10% off. If you repeat, I heard it from the town cry on 105.3 FM, I'll get 20% off and you will too, at any of the 10 convenient condoms to go in Sarah's Secret locations. And you shall receive 20% off for regularly priced items. Condom to go and Sarah's Secret. Ten convenient locations to better service you. That's condoms to go USA.com at 2051 Northwest Highway in Dallas, Texas. 